coming back with quarter two favorite starting off with a few beauty things the sunscreen from kingship this is their self-reflect sunscreen with spf 32 it gives your skin a nice kind of dewy effect but doesn't make your skin look too oily at all it is almost a nudie pink color when you first put it on but it blends in with your skin very very quickly and it does not leave a white cast the next product used to be something that i never understood why people would purchase which is the glossier stretch concealer now i I don't think I'm particularly a big fan of Glossier. I love their packaging. I love their U fragrance, but I just didn't see the point of a concealer that doesn't actually conceal quite fully. So this will not give you full coverage. However, I've been really enjoying just using this to touch up on the spots on my skin, under eye, just on a daily basis for myself to feel ready for the day. And this is the perfect shade match to my skin i have it in the shade medium 20. on the days when i do want a bit of coverage especially in the summertime when my skin does tend to get a bit more oily throughout the day i love a product that can give me a full day of coverage and this is the charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation definitely stays all day like it advertises and i have it in the shade for neutral if you have watched any youtube beauty videos probably five to ten years ago i feel like everybody was raving about this and it is the milani baked blush in the shade luminoso i am wearing this blush on my face right now just the perfect coral powder blush if you're not into a powdered blush for a similar coral effect you can try out the Bloom FX Tulip Tint Cheek and Lip Combo product. So you can use it on your lips as well as on your cheek. And it has a very creamy texture. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way, but it also blends out really, really beautifully. It definitely has this creamy, dewy effect on the skin. And it's just so so natural i love using the bloom effect blush for when i use my tinted moisturizer or when i'm not even wearing any foundation products on my skin i like to just use this on my cheeks and add a little bit of brow also use this on my lips then i'm good to go a very much simple clean girl look the next beauty favorite is l'oreal voluminous primer i think of this as basically getting a free layer of mascara so if you use higher end mascara or to be honest most of the mascaras out there on the market i think are more expensive than this which i believe i only paid five dollar for on amazon by the way everything that i mentioned in this video will be linked down below this is great in adding that layer of volume before you put on your mascara instead of using your normal mascara two coats you can just use one coat of the voluminous primer and then add a coat of your normal mascara next up is the boxum full-on plumping lip polish i have it in the shade april even though it definitely feels like you have product on your lips it's not sticky it's like the right kind of tackiness that protects your lips and keeps the shine of a lip gloss now i put this on maybe a couple of hours ago i can still feel the mintiness on my lips it's not like a burning sensation it's a very cooling minty sensation and it's just perfect for a hot summer day and i know it will last on my lips i don't have to always touch it up i've tried other lip glosses but you always end up having to touch up because they're too thin or they don't last long but definitely not the case with the buxom one it gives you a nice corally pink 
tone to your lips. It's not super pigmented, so you can definitely layer this on your existing lip products. A couple of skin products that are more on the treatment side. The first product is my all-time favorite and my only product to treat acne, and that is the Japanese brand, I believe it's Lion Pear, and this is their acne cream. I have a giant one over here, but because I noticed um, the pimple building up a couple of days ago, I've already started using this so I could really control my pimple so it doesn't grow to like a ridiculously big size. If you also suffer from eczema or just general like skin dryness problems. This is called body ointment cream and it has so many raving reviews on Amazon. So I bought a pack of five and as you can see, I'm almost done with my first tube. I had a bit of eczema problem basically at different spots on my body and by using this every day, I could visibly see the eczema basically disappear. It also has a little bit of a cooling sensation. So with eczema, obviously they get really, really itchy, but after I put this on, the eczema spots don't get itchy at all. Next is a set of nail polishes and it is the Nails Inc. London Unicorn set. Sephora, I just checked, still sell them for $15 for two and I highly, highly recommend all of you, doesn't matter what your skin tone is, I don't even care what colors of nail polish you love. I'm wearing one of the shades right now, this is the Dream Dust, and it is just beautiful. It looks like your nails has this almost chrome effect. It turns into different colors under different lights. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes green, sometimes golden. So, so beautiful. Same thing with this other one called Rainbow Wishes. Just beautiful iridescent shades. For fragrance, I have been really enjoying the Dossier Musky Gayak. And this is the perfect dupe for the Lalabo Gayak which is a city collection fragrance and it is the Tokyo scent. I believe in September you could buy the entire city collection, I think in all the label stores across the world, but otherwise the Gayak 10 you can only buy in Tokyo. So this is the perfect, a lot more affordable and a lot more attainable version of the Gayak 10 from Dossier. It just immediately brings you to a Japanese Zen garden. It has top notes of ol olibanum incense, no idea what that is. Middle notes have gayak wood and cedar wood and base notes of musks. This is a scent that's quite addictive. Like I would sometimes just open up the bottle and sniff the scent. You might have noticed that in recent videos, I really haven't been putting my hair down just because I just really enjoy my hair sleek back and not touching my face because it is getting quite hot here in New York. And I want to talk about these hair cloths that I have been wearing nonstop. So I have the pearl one. I also have this checkered print one, really trendy. I also have this almost iridescent one. I literally have my hair cloths in small, medium, and large sizes for all sorts of hair lengths. I don't leave any weird hair tie mark on my hair and they don't you know pull my hair too much it is very very secure i just feel very put together i can wear these hair cloths to work as well it's just perfect for the summertime i have so many great summery fashion pieces to share with you you know i love my floral dresses so i'm gonna start off with this one that I don't think you can get, unfortunately, but if you are into cool patterns and high quality floral or just pattern pieces, definitely check out Tory Burch. I just really love the style of this dress. I featured this in my What I Wore in a Week video and 
it is just so comfortable to wear at home or out and about even dressing it up if you go to let's say summer weddings this is also a really really great dress option i just love versatile pieces that you can very easily dress up or down and I definitely don't mind splurge a bit in pieces that I believe can stay in my wardrobe forever. I do have something that you can get I believe hopefully this is what I featured in my H&M floral video and I know quite a few of you already bought this dress if you are eyeing these sleeper linen dresses this is honestly I think I would prefer the H&M version than the sleeper version because I noticed the sleeper dresses have quite extravagant puffy sleeves and sometimes that look a little bit too much to me. Even though I'm obsessed with balloon sleeves, puff sleeves, I feel like when they get way too big, they just make my body look really big so i really love the h&m design of it it's so comfortable you don't even have to wear a bra if you are more flat chested like i am and the material is this crinkly cotton material that feels fabulous on the skin h&m also has different variations of these cute floral dresses i literally had to take these out from the wash because i've been wearing these pretty much on a weekly basis starting off with this blue dress that i was wearing in my Hilera haul video it is just the most comfortable soft stretchy cottony material that feels absolutely amazing on the body and i love the high slit of this dress it is just the perfect everyday summer dress this next one is also fabulous particularly for walking the dog or running errands because it has almost like a cooling effect of the fabric love the slit love the padding that comes with it you can take it off if you want to love that it has pockets i just love the design detail of this dress and how it feels on my body next are these summer tanks both from h&m you really don't need to look further than h&m when it comes to these cottony tank tops as you see i wrapped both of them in neutral colors because i have quite a lot of colorful pieces in my wardrobe that i definitely will love some neutrals to tone them down if you also have bigger head i feel like this types of tank top really balance out your shoulder and your head ratio and it just make you look really sleek i love wearing these tanks when my hair is pulled back in my hair claw or to a ponytail a couple of silk pieces i want to share because i just love wearing silk in the summertime first is my pajama it's from the brand lonia i talked about the set that i also have in the exact same color i just love this champagne color i wore my short sleeve pants set in the winter time and i wear this dress in the summertime for sleeping it actually very conveniently has pockets as well so i feel like if you were to wear it out nobody would judge the benefit of wearing lonia silk pieces is pretty much all of their silk pieces are washable so i can wash this every single week and then I just let it air dry silk because it's a natural material it actually takes no time to dry like maybe a couple of hours it also comes in a few other colors and the silk fabric is quite substantial with the linea one it's not see-through at all next silk piece is a bit more affordable but really high quality as well and it is the silk scarf that i am wearing now as a top i just tied a knot in the back this is from lily silk you would have seen it in my come shopping with me video i have really been wearing this as a top a lot especially when it's hot i've actually demonstrated a few ways to style this scarf in the calm shopping with me video for shoes i have two pairs that i want to show the tevas i have worn them for this is my third year owning this particular pair they are the most comfortable all-weather summer shoe i literally even wore these to hiking you can also very easily just wash them clean next pair are my zara bow slides that 
I've also had, this might be year three or four of owning this pair of shoes. And even though it is a suede material, I just spray the suede protecting spray and they've been holding up pretty good given I literally wear them every day to walk the dog. This is a pair of sunglasses that I've had for a few years now and I love the shape of this. I think they still sell this exact same style. They definitely give me the Ray-Ban sunglasses vibes but if you also have quite a big head, I feel like the Key Australia ones will be a bit more flattering. I've not been able to find a pair of Ray-Bans that actually look flattering on my pretty big face. So I really recommend going for Key Australia and also they have nose pads so it is really easy and comfortable to wear for when you have low flat nose like I do. Also love that their sunglass cases are these just fabric ones that take up no space at all. So very, very easy to store your sunnies. The next sun related piece is this UPF sun hat. So it is UPF 50, which is essentially the equivalent of SPF, but for fabrics. It has a very wide rim and on the back, I'm not demonstrating it perfectly because I am wearing my hair claw. If you have a ponytail, there is a hole to put your ponytail through it and you can tie this as like a cute little bow. It also has the adjustable strap that you can kind of secure it on your head, especially when you're going hiking. This is just really useful. You can actually take off the strap if you don't want to keep it. And as you can see, you can very easily roll it into a very small piece and it will not get, you know, bent in weird ways. Really easy and light to travel with. It also comes in many different colors. My favorite handbags, the first first one, actually the first three, because I love this style so much that I have three of them. And these are the Tory Burch Ella mini totes. Every season you can find new prints, new colorways of these little mini totes. And over the years, I have just really enjoyed the particular top handle style that also comes with a leather strap so you can very easily wear this as crossbody as well. It fits my phone. I have iPhone 11, not the Pro Max, but as you can see, there is even more room. So I feel like even if you do have Pro Max, it will fit. The thing I also really love about these totes are, I would say these two because they are nylon material with the leather trimming. They're actually really squishy. So you can fit a lot more than you would expect in these little bags. And then this one is in a canvas material. It just gives you very, very summery vibes. I love all of these so, so much. And they just add a pop of color. Prada re-edition 2005 in the Saviano leather in the shade Cameo Beige. It is just the perfect beige shade. It comes with the strap as well as the little pouch on the strap. You've probably seen many people talk about this bag and I just recently received this as my birthday gift and I cannot say enough good things about this bag. It actually fits quite a bit and I love the versatility of, you know, just wearing this as a nighttime bag, but also you can use the thicker strap for the daytime. It almost has like a tiny little bit of pink undertone to it but overall a pretty neutral nudie color. It doesn't lean towards the yellow side, which I feel like sometimes could make your bag look a little bit more aged, but this is just the perfect nude that will go with everything. And I feel like this is going to come with me everywhere when I'm traveling. This is gonna be such a great like wedding guest bag as well because it's super easy to carry. It's dainty enough that you can definitely bring this to special occasions. Moving on to some home favorites. H&M Home has been my favorite home decor 
shopping destination and I recently discovered their room diffuser. This is in rich mahogany. The difference between more affordable and more expensive diffusers is really the kind of projection. If I put this next to my bed, I will obviously be able to smell it before I go to bed, which is just really calming and very soothing. Another home scent related product is the Zara City Candle Collection with Jo Malone and this is the Energetically New York. I have talked about Zara candles in my last favorites and I have just been really obsessed with the Energetically New York scent. I've barely burned this candle but I just put this on my desk and I can just smell it throughout the day. I am very bad at describing scents and there is no description of the scent on the bottle. But just trust me, go to your local Zara store. If they have candles, just honestly try out all of their candles. I highly, highly, highly recommend. Next is our Coleman portable propane grill that we use on our terrace. It is kindly gifted by my in-laws a couple of Christmases ago, but we finally have the terrace space to enjoy the grill. So you can actually roll it around. You can even take it to a park if you don't have outdoor space to use the grill. And this only requires the smaller propane tanks. The next home favorite we've been enjoying for over three, four months now, and it is our velvet green couch from Article. You might have seen this couch. I think it's quite a popular style from Article, but velvet is actually one of the most durable materials and most pet friendly materials. As you know, I have a puppy and a cat and it actually has been really, really easy to clean the couch. I just use my vacuum to vacuum off the surface area dust and it doesn't get scratched easily. If you're on the market for a couch, it comes in and a two seater. I believe ours is it's like a three or four seater. We also bought the Ottoman that goes with it. They also have like an L-shaped couch version. There's just many variations of this couch. I think there's also a blue velvet and they have leather versions, fabric versions of this particular couch. I love how just comfortable it is to sit on the couch even though we bought it blindly online. But it has been the best, most expensive impulse purchase. I literally just put on Google couch. I searched for couch and this was the second result. So, so I actually got this West Elm pillow case as a Christmas gift before we even got the green couch. And this obviously pink and green has been just my favorite color combination recently leading into the home decor space as well. I think this just goes so well with the green couch and I bought the pillow filler from Amazon, super affordable. It also comes in a few different colors as well and it is not only a great home decor piece but really comfortable to lean against. I got my second piercings back in I think March or April and I got it done at Majori. I have a diamond clustered stud on my left ear and then I just have their clustered like gold ball studs. I don't know the names of these but I will <laughs> leave them down below on um, my right ear because they are pretty much the same design but just one with diamonds and one with solid gold. Both can stay in your ear day and night. And I'm wearing a really bold pair of hoops. These are the Amazon ones that I talked about I feel like a couple of years ago. They still sell them and fabulous. These studs go very well with these exaggerated earrings, daintier earrings. I just really love that. Now I have something in my ears at all times. Another solid gold piece I picked up is this Etsy rope bracelet. So this is a 10 karat gold, solid gold rope bracelet in I believe two millimeter in terms of the width. They come in various width and length options. You can really customize it however you want to. I have not taken this off ever since putting it on a few months ago and just really enjoyed adding 
a bit of sparkliness to my wrist. It's actually really affordable for solid gold. I believe this is around $70 for solid gold that you never need to take off. I wear this to shower, to the gym, just fabulous pricing. The only thing I will say is these types of rope bracelets, I do feel like it's most suitable for summertime or in climates where you don't wear lots of knits because I realize if I'm putting sweater over this, the fluff bits of the sweater sometimes get caught in the bracelet so I would worry about breaking the bracelet so this is pretty much my summer bracelet the next item very excitingly is my Cartier love wedding band so I do have my wedding ring and wedding band so I'm not using this as a wedding band but I have been eyeing this piece for a long time. I've had dupes of the Cartier Love Rings in the past and just realized, you know what, let's just pull the plug because I know this is a piece that I can wear forever. I actually bought this from a Japanese seller on eBay and it actually comes with original box and I paid pretty much half the price for the Love Ring wedding band it was in perfect condition i mean it's still in pretty much perfect condition i know people talk about the cartier love rings getting scratched but honestly it doesn't really get scratched that easily because most of the time it's just like dirt and also even if it does get scratched i really don't mind either because you really don't see the scratchness until you are very very close to the piece so on my finger it just adds a bit of shine and i love wearing my Majuri diamond pave ring which i talked about in my last favorites video i love stacking these rings they just create a really beautiful effect and you can wear both of these rings on your fingers at all times. The three books that I really enjoyed, the first two are written by the same author Yuval Noah Harari and if you know the author you probably know the books that I'm talking about. The first one is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind and the next one is Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow. So I recommend reading both of these books together because one talks about the past, the other talks about the future. Both of these books really give you a lot of insights into why we behave certain way, why humans end up being essentially the most powerful being in the world and what that means for the future. If you already know quite a bit of human history or just how humans work then nothing will be groundbreaking for you in those books but if you are like me who might have learned some of these from school but honestly don't remember anything these books are really interesting to listen to i love listening to these informative books that also don't sound too boring because i feel like he just has a really fascinating way to describe very boring facts. The third book I'm recommending is The Vegetarian by Hank Kang. Now this book has pretty much nothing to do with being a vegetarian but it really is a very special novel that makes you question what forms a person's identity, how is someone's identity portrayed through other people's eyes. It is quite a quick read but it has very profound themes and every time you read it you probably realize something different. I listen to all of my books on Libby. It's essentially a library app, completely free. You can borrow the books for 21 days at a time. Some books might require a bit of waiting to get a hold of because there are limited amount of digital copies of each book, but I've always been able to reserve the books that I want to read. I always have a long list of books on hold. It actually works better than owning a physical book because I know that I'm renting this book and at the end of the period I have to return it so I have more of an urgency to finish the book before the end of my rental period. I really think the Libby app is the sole reason that I'm still sticking to this reading habit. I really love listening instead of reading books because that means I can multitask. I always cook or 
shower or do laundry, do chores when I'm listening to the audiobooks. My second favorite app at the moment is called Super Great. Think of it as kind of a combination of Instagram Reels or TikToks plus live streaming plus live selling. It's basically a social commerce app. So you can go on the app, see people's reviews of beauty products, skincare, makeup, hair care, fragrance, etc. This is the app that I discovered many of the brands. A few of them I've already mentioned earlier in today's video. And I also have my own account and live shows every week on Super Great. So if you want to know more about my beauty favorites, how I do my makeup, I'm not a pro at this, by the way, and you don't have to be in order to enjoy the app or produce content on the app. The other really exciting benefit of using the app is as you accumulate views on your reviews, you go on to other people's lives, you post more product reviews, you collect coins, which you can use to redeem beauty products on the app. You can even convert your coins into cash credit to purchase beauty products on this app. So it's really an all-encompassing community for the beauty, makeup, skincare lovers. I would love for you to share your quarterly favorite items down below, and I will see you in one of these videos. Bye! I've been filming this video, I think, for two hours. I think I talk too much.